Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Liz. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Now, as you can see by the title, I am doing a review video. It is Test Tuesdays, hopefully, when you're watching this. Um, if you don't know already, I have a few little series sort of things on my channel where I upload specific days on specific topics and today is Test Tuesday so I am going to be testing out the Made by Mitchell Blush Bronzed. I have one shade and then I also have the Summer Blush Collection and the brushes which I'll show you in a second and I also have his makeup case. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos like this here. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. That'll help me out a lot to know what you guys like to watch. And yeah, if you want to see my review slash shade swatches of the blush by Made by Mitchell, then keep on watching. <laughs> This is the sort of intro part. You'll see me in a second, a few hours before this, um, looking a mess, but we'll ignore that. So I'm going to be reviewing, like I said, the Blushed Bronzed, which is quite new. It's not the newest thing, obviously, because this video is specifically for the summer collection and the blushes. But I just wanted to add this in because obviously it's one of his new products. So it says on the website, a rich pigmented and versatile formulation in eight shades. So it says that it's easy application, buildable formula, blurred focus finish and secret blush technology. They also say that um, suitable for all skin types which I definitely agree with that. And they are currently all out of stock. What's great about Made by Mitchell, they're cruelty free. So they don't test on animals or manufacturing, marketing or other products aren't tested on animals or anything like that, but not 100% vegan. So that's a good thing to know. It's not 100% vegan, but it's cruelty free. So these retail for 16 pound each. It's got six mils in here. Love the packaging. I do wish it was more of like a sort of squeezy tube, just because as a makeup artist, I feel like I can get a lot more product out and be less wasteful and also on clients as a little bit more sanitary, but I do like the packaging, it is cute. The new summer collection, now I have all three of the new blush shades, so we've got Melon Sorbet, Can't Cope With Coral and A Shy Boy. Now I will be doing swatches in a second, you'll see them on my face in like lines, because I've also got the other six shades which I bought when he had that bundle sort of thing. I really wish I got the blush bronzed bundle but I missed it unfortunately. That would have been so good for my kit. But anyway, back onto the summer collection and as well as the brushes. So I'll show you those in a second. It's a liquid to powder finish allowing it to be layered underneath or over the top of your base makeup which I haven't tried yet. I haven't done it over powders um, so I have to give that a go. Dries to a satin powder matte finish, highly blendable and buildable, packed with pigment to make flattering on all skin tones, blurring technology which allows all skin textures to blush. So it comes in nine shades. These retail for £14 each, so it's a little bit cheaper than the bronzer. I did want to get his brush specifically made for the blushes, but it was out of stock which was a shame. Let's go on to the summer collection. Now the box that came was huge because I also got a few other bundles. Now I got this as a bundle. So this is his smaller palette here. It's the Mini Mitchell Volume 1. So that makes me think that he's going to bring out more. I really like his packaging. It's very unique, very neon, but I absolutely love this palette. I've been wanting to get this palette since I watched his Monday's videos. 
So that's what that one looks like. Beautiful shades. I love how he's created that one. I'll just show you that one and it comes in a cute little case and then in that deal as well I got the mirror. Now I really like this. Be nice in my videos like the Morphe one I bought. It says made by Mitchell at the bottom there and yeah I bought that because why not? It was on a deal so I thought while I'm getting the new summer collection why not get that as well. Um, I did also get a deal where he had both of these for £35, they are originally £35 each so I thought why not, I've already got this one, I've got plans for this one so stay tuned for the next video on Made by Mitchell. And then this one I've been wanting to try, I'm just going to show you this one because I haven't used this in my videos before, obviously because it's new to me, and I did have someone comment on... I think it was one of my videos that they wanted to see a tutorial using this palette as well. So that's ooh, that's what it looks like. I would show you the other one but I don't want to touch it. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to be showing you how to create maybe one to three looks per palette. Maybe two each palette. So you can see the versatility of them so yeah stay tuned for that video it might be up next week or the week after whenever i get it filmed so i'll be using all three palettes so definitely stay tuned for that but with the new summer collection i got the deal where i thought why not just bite the bullet and do it it was originally 157 pounds and you get it for a hundred pounds it is currently out of stock and i thought i bought the the black case but clearly not that was my mistake but anyway it's the full summer collection bundle and it comes with the how many brushes eight brushes comes with i'll show you those in a minute the three new blushes which i've spoken about and then it comes with the makeup case which is absolutely huge um, but it's a nice size, it's not too big, it's one of the square ones and then it has two zips on it actually but I've never seen a makeup case like this before so it's also got the top part here where you can keep your brushes in at the top there, easy to clean sort of surface and I thought you could keep palettes in that section there and then you open this bit up and you've got the inserts which is good because you can stand these up like so but for example say the Maybelline Superstay for example because it's quite a long tube let's see if I can show you this it fits in there perfect you can't even see it so that's amazing, love that. So anyway, love the packaging that the brushes came in. Eight brushes, let's start with. So we've got the MF4, which is a angled all over brush. And oh my God, this is the softest brush I've ever felt. And that's no exaggeration. I would put it on my face, but I've got makeup on. Brushes that you like stipple on and you can feel it being like quite stabby. Is that the word? But no, that one's not. Oh, love that. But I think this would be great for the bronzer, the cream bronzer or the cream brush. Hmm. I absolutely love that it comes with one of these like shape things so when you wash it you can pop that on and it'll keep to its shape or when you've put it in your kit or something love the material of the handle it's that soft matte sort of feel i don't know what it's going to be like with getting dirty but i don't mind because i like that feel i love it next the brush that i'm so excited for is the me5 you'll notice that it says mf for face and then me for eyes obviously that's an obvious one. I keep slouching. Again, really, really soft. Can't wait to try this on my eyes. This is called the the cut creaser. <laughs> the cut creaser. So I'm excited to try that. Maybe I'll use these in my video that I'm going to do with the 
palettes. Then we've got the ME6, which is a really, really small angled brush. Again, it's really, really soft, really precise. Love it. It's so short and defined. So this is called the Angled Definer. And next we got the ME7, which is, oh, it's a very tiny angled brush. Oh my God, that's gonna be perfect for me. <laughs> Cause I am useless at winged eyeliner. I can do them better on other people than myself. I don't know how, don't ask. So that one's called the Mini Liner. And that is definitely a mini liner. Then we've got the ME8, which is called Precise Blender. So it's sort of that tapered blending brush. It's quite a flat brush as well. So this one's really long and tapered. Then next we've got the ME9, which is a flat and fluffer. It's a flat and fluffer. I think this would be good for on the lid. This is such a, again, it's quite long and narrow and not as fluffy as the last one, of course. But again, really, really soft. So this one is the ME10 and it's called the Precise Crease. So I would use this for like lighter shades, making that shape of a crease before going in and blending. But yeah, really, really nice, really long. And then last but not least, we've got the ME11, which is the Shape Shifter, which is such a small, petite brush. Again, really, really soft. It's not dense, but it's stiff. It's a really, really nice brush. This would be amazing for all you creative guys and gals out there. Really like that one. So yeah, that's all the brushes and the blushes. What I'm gonna do now is skip back to this morning Liz at like half six in the morning, do the demo and stuff like that, trying it on, etc. And then obviously I'm gonna go, I'm gonna skip to doing the swatches of the blushes and I'll do a swatch of the bronzer as well on my face. But obviously I'm gonna have no makeup on and then do the lines like I normally do. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. So today it's before the clip that you just seen, the intro and stuff, but I am going to be trying out the new Made by Mitchell blush summer collection blushes blush there's three different shades and then i'm gonna also be throwing in the blush bronzed because obviously it's new i haven't tried it before so i thought why not try it um but obviously i'm only going to be applying one of these shades today and then i'm going to be showing you swatches on the face of them all so i do have all of the blushes to show you guys so, first of all, we're gonna try the bronzed blush, which I'm super excited about. It just looks like this. Obviously, it's the exact same packaging as the blush version. I have had the, one of the blushes before. This is peach sugar, and I absolutely love it. Just a FYI, little sneak peek there. So, it comes with the exact same applicator, everything. Um, I don't think I have a mirror. I am filming this before work, so I'm going to be trying this out all day. And also, I did get their new brushes. I wish I got the other brushes as well, but the cheek one is always out of stock. I'm just going to use the normal brushes that I use for contour, cream contour and cream bronzer and cream blush. Um, I'm going to use the Peach and Cream PC21 brush for the bronzer contour and then the Morphe E8 brush for the blush. Um, I'm not sure if they still do this, sorry if they don't. Let's apply the bronzer. So what I like to do with my bronzer recently is keep it nice and high. So I don't know whether to use it like this or put it on the back of my hand. Let's use it like this for now. I'm not going to use a lot to begin with. And then I'm going to blend it out with my brush. Nice shade. If I didn't say, I've got Caramel Chisel. It's a nice warm shade, but it's got like a nice depth to it. So like the blushes that I've used, that blended out really, really nicely. What I'm going to do is layer it up a little bit. 
It does look harsh on the applicator, but once I apply it, it doesn't seem as pigmented, which is great because you can layer it up and get it to the depth that you want it to be. I'm loving that. Super natural. It literally blends out straight away. You could probably blend this out with your fingers as well, but I don't personally like doing that. I feel like with a brush you get more precision. But do what you please. Okay, I am really happy with that. I like that it's got colour, but it's not overly powerful. I apologise about my hair as well. But so far, so good. I'm loving that. Now, next I've got the three new blush shades for summer. So we've got Can't Cope With Coral, A Shy Boy and Melon Sorbet. Obviously, like I said, I've used these blushes before. So they're not going to be anything new. Just the shades are going to be new to me. One good thing about Made by Mitchell, I feel like all their shades are suitable for all skin types, which is great. Um, and I absolutely love these shades. These are more up my street. They're very like peachy. I'm gonna go for the Can't Cope With Coral. Wow, that is right. A little goes a long way with these blushes as well. That was probably way too much. I do like to bring my blusher quite high. I don't like it low down on my face. Oh my god, that shade is beautiful. I don't like to bring my blusher too far down because I don't like to bring my face downwards. I want to sculpt up. So that's a good tip for you. But just look at that shade. I love it. And with that bronzer as well, got ourselves a good pair. See how easy that blended and it's such a dream to blend. And I absolutely love that shade. It looked bright when I just dabbed it on but now it looks very peachy and beautiful. Love it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set it with powder because I always like to do that and I'm gonna wear it for the whole day. I am in work today. Um, I still have to wear a mask in work because I live in Wales. We still need to wear masks until the 7th of August. I'm not sure when this video is going up, but for now I have to wear a mask so I will tell you how it's getting on. Um, I'm gonna do like a wear test see if it comes off or anything so yeah I will come back to you either in work if the staff room's dead or I'll be back later on so yeah Okay, so I'm back from a, a long day of work and yeah, 
I currently don't have any lipstick on, so I apologise about that. Maybe I'll pop a little bit on in a second, but let's have a look. Now, the blusher has lasted so long. I can't say the bronzer has lasted as long as the blusher, just because my mask obviously comes down to about here and I think it's rubbed the bronzer off a little bit but I hope you can see that overall I really really like these blushes and the bronzer loved how they blend love how they sit on the skin they apply beautifully on dewy foundation on top of matte foundation as well which is absolutely amazing obviously I'll keep giving this a go um, obviously I absolutely love these and I'm so excited about the new shades and the shade that I popped on today which is Can't Cope With Coral, I love the shade. It looks so bright when you put it on the skin but when you blend it out it actually looks really really nice. So I definitely recommend these, the blushes, the blush but obviously I'm going to try this out again in other videos and I will let you know more um, because I am so excited to start doing like full face Fridays where I'm going to be doing either a full face of one brand or a full face of makeup like a tutorial. So I'll add the bronzer in to that maybe soon. Let me know if you want an update and stuff like that and yeah. I will be doing the review video made by Mitchell Palettes because I've got all three here like I said in the intro so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be doing maybe like one look or three looks per eyeshadow. One to three looks per eyeshadow. Stay tuned for a little giveaway as well. Sneak peek. So it's definitely, like it said, it's definitely rich and pigmented, but it does blend out really, really nicely, the bronzer. And like it says, it's very buildable. So definitely, definitely agree with that. And the shade ranges are amazing as well. So so with the blush, shiz, blushes, I definitely feel like you can build it up. It's definitely more opaque than the bronzers. Just bear that in mind, you only need like a little dab. definitely recommend these for that if you like a good blush tone. So that is the end of this review, sort of fun video. I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you did then please consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more review videos like this. I also do like full face of makeup reviews and stuff like that on here. I also do the odd haul as well and favourites so definitely check my channel out if that's something you're interested in watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and that will let me know if you... there's a fly! And that will let me know if you did. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day or evening wherever you are and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!